Welcome to the world of boxing, where warriors battle in the ring and legends are born. Today, we're diving into the story of Terrence Crawford, a name synonymous with skill, power, and precision. But Crawford isn't just any boxer. He's the new pound-for-pound -pound king of boxing a title earned by stopping Earl Spence Jr. in their super fight. This victory wasn't a one-off. Crawford is on an 11-fight knockout streak, a feat that has captured the attentions of fans and critics alike. How did he achieve this incredible streak? What makes him the knockout king? That's what we're here to explore. Join us as we break down each knockout, starting with the fight that began it all. We'll delve into the tactics, the strategies, and the sheer determination that has prepared Crawford to the top. So grab your gloves, step into the ring, and let's begin our journey into the world of Terrence Crawford's knockout mastery. By the end of this video, you'll see boxing through the eyes of a champion, understanding the art and science that makes Crawford the knockout king. December 10th, 2016, Century Link Center, Omaha, Nebraska. Terrence Crawford, 5'8", 70 inch reach, 29 years old. John Molina Jr., 5'10", 71 inch reach, 33 years old. Crawford, already a rising star, faces Molina, a seasoned fighter known for his power. Crawford's goal is clear, to dominate and win, to make a statement. The fight begins and both fighters are sizing each other up, looking for openings. As the early rounds unfold, it's evident that Crawford is not just looking for a quick finish. He's studying Molina, gauging his reactions and understanding his rhythm. Molina, known for his aggressive style, tries to press the action, looking to land his signature power shots. But Crawford, with his superior footwork, keeps evading the big punches, making Molina miss while countering with sharp jabs and body shots. It's a tactical masterclass. Crawford's defense is impeccable. He's slipping punches, ducking under hooks, and using his reach to keep Molina at bay. With each passing round, Molina's frustration grows. He's throwing punches, but Crawford's elusive movement and ring generalship means that Molina is often hitting nothing but air. Meanwhile, Crawford is landing clean, effective shots, breaking Molina down bit by bit. The stage is being set for a big finish. The atmosphere is tense. Both fighters have showcased their skills in the preceding rounds, but as the fight progresses, Crawford's superior technique and strategy become increasingly evident. Throughout the fight, Crawford has been effectively using his footwork to control the distance and the pace. He's been studying Molina's tendencies, particularly Molina's habit of lunging forward with power shots, leaving himself exposed during the follow-through. Crawford, with his impeccable timing, starts to exploit this vulnerability. He baits Molina by staying just out of reach, enticing Molina to commit to his punches. In one such instance, as Molina lunges forward with a reaching jab, Crawford pull counter with a left uppercut. He follows this up with a thudding straight left to the body, which hurts Molina and drives him back. Crawford, ever the finisher, pounces. The combination is lightning fast and lands flush. Molina is visibly shaken. The uppercut has rocked him and his legs are wobbly. Sensing the opportunity, Crawford unleashes a barrage of punches targeting both the head and body, not giving Molina a moment to recover. In this sequence, the body shots are the key to stopping Molina. Molina was eating those head shots all night long, but the body shots were the punches that took the fight out of him. This sequence showcases Crawford's ability to capitalize on his opponent's mistakes, demonstrating his precision, power, and boxing IQ. A final devastating right hook lands cleanly on Molina's jaw, sending him crashing to the canvas. It's a picture-perfect knockout punch. The referee rushes in to administer the count, but it's clear that Molina is in no condition to continue. He's dazed and struggling to find his bearings. The fight is officially stopped and Terrence Crawford is declared the winner by knockout. The crowd erupts in admiration for Crawford's clinical finish. This victory marks the beginning of Crawford's knockout streak, a journey that will lead him to become the undisputed knockout king of boxing. Watch out for part two coming soon.